Hi guys, and welcome to another video. And this is going to be my Amazon versus Nighton Tac Vest comparison video, or as UK Security 101 wanted to call it, Amazon versus Nighton Tats or Tac. And basically, in this video, I've got uh, a Tac Vest from Amazon that I wore for about 18 months um, before I got a second hand Nighton uh, Tac Vest that is also around 18 months of use. Um, so they're good comparisons in terms of use. Um, I'll take you through the differences in between the two. There'll be links down descriptions to all of this stuff and maybe just put out a couple of the differences, maybe which one I prefer. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So we'll start off with the Amazon one. So firstly, let's see what Amazon says about this item. So about this item, it is a selection of three front and back removable Velcro badges. So on the front, you get the dog handler badge and then on the back you obviously get the dog handler. It obviously comes with security and others as well, depending on what uh, section of security or what you want the tack vest for. Adjustable Velcro and shoulder, at shoulder and waist. So there's Velcro shoulders and waist, therefore that you can, um, you can size appropriately for yourself. So you can either make them smaller or bigger. Um, obviously being a smaller frame, I would have these shorter as so I don't because my shoulders aren't as big but there are be there will be bigger people that need to uh, make the velcro or the shoulders bigger for themselves you also get that around the waist so you can adjust it for yourself radio camera mic click click holders on both shoulders so these are these for body cam so or torches so that you can clip and have your body cam mounted onto yourself multi pockets and back back strong handle so this also has a back strong handle therefore if you have a hook you can just hook it and it will just sit like so the description of this is this adjustable high-vis vest is made of nylon 600d kajura and quality strong mesh fabric high visibility scoff light tape around the vest and to give high visibility at night time ideal for security officers community wardens it will fit sizes up to triple xl and may fit a larger size depending on body shape and clothing worn underneath. Centre front YYK zip, velcro adjustment for shoulders and around the waist will help you to get the perfect fit. There is a clear window pocket for your SIA licence or other ID badges. Also there are two plain blank fabric patches on the front and the back to give, to give the staff number. Front and back hem straps with buttons to attach the vest with trousers belt for safety. So some of the good points of this uh, vest is you've got multiple pockets so you've got one two three four you've got a radio um, pouch on the side here and a torch over on your left. There is a, uh, a pocket around the back here which I've never actually found any use for. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you would use that for. I've never found a use for it but if there is something that maybe you want to hide around the back, that is something you can do. It comes with uh, a card window, therefore you can slide your SIA card in there to have it on show, so you don't need to wear a lanyard, etc. Um, it has obviously the zips in here is where you've got the, the Velcro as well. In terms of durability of this vest, I think it's held up well over the 18 months that I used it. I've been working on sites and different things like that, worn it in, in the vehicle, um, and different things like that and I think overall it's held up pretty well um, you can see over here there's a little bit of marking um, underneath here where my body cam was sitting you can see that the the, uh, the high visibility started to rub off a bit with the body cam rubbing on it but I think the the one thing that it has suffered with is the is the velcro so the velcro pockets um, are not made of like the highest quality so they've started to fray a little bit um, they started to fray across here and as you can tell, let me just do a little bit of a test. So as you can tell, if I rub that down, you can tell that there's not much, there's not much uh, Velcro left. So although it does, although it will close, it will open very easily. Therefore, if something with any weight in there was to, was to put pressure on it, it would fall out. But overall, I think the rest of the, the rest of the vest has done pretty well. Down the sides, um, it started to curl up a little bit. That's mainly because 
I've had to adjust it for myself um, and where I've been sitting in the vehicle etc it's curled up a little bit but I think the velcro on this is, is done pretty well um, mainly because uh, you kind of set it for yourself and you never really touch it again so this is the velcro on like the waist and that which you, which you can tell has still got a lot but again like I say you sort of set it to yourself and then you um, and then you just leave it uh, in terms of sizing, obviously um, I am someone that is roughly a small to medium in clothing um, and this goes up to say triple XL but this vest, even for my size, has, has fitted quite nicely. Um, it's, it's done pretty well for me. Now let's see what Niton have got to say. So the Niton is the Niton Tactical 4 pocket vest. Click on dock on each shoulder for radio or torch with Niton light dock. 50mm reflective tape around the waist and shoulders. Three bellowed pockets measuring 170 by 30 by 50mm. One bellowed pocket with hook and loop ID strips measures 180 by 130 by 50. Badge is not included. So with this, this bag, this dog handle badge across here and the one that you get on the front are not included. Hook and loop adjustments at waist and shoulders to allow for flexible fit over the clothing or armour. Minimum and maximum chest weight measurements are provided. So something that you need to know about this, this vest uh, with night on, that they do sizes and they range from small all the way up to 4XL. Someone that's me that's like a small or medium clothing, once I've got all my body armour and my layers on, this is a large and it fits me pretty well. I've not had to... I've not had to bring it in too much and it still fits quite nicely. Two concealed pockets with YKK zips, ideal for notebooks and documents. Large hook and loop ID on the back and left chest so that you can identify it and advertise your company or role. Epaulette loops for buttons, epaulettes, I'm not sure what they are. Four belt loops, black. A brand tactical vest. For security officers, dog handlers, search and rescue, anyone who doesn't need a bat on handcuffs and CS pouches but still want the comfortable and versatility of a vest. The Night On Design team have used some basic design and, hu and hugely popular Night On Tactical Patrol vest. But using, four, but using four large bellow pockets rather than the individual equipment pouches, the weight is evenly distributed over the four pockets to reduce the strain often associated with wearing a belt. So let me take you through this, let me take you through this, it's obviously quite hard because it's black on black, um, but on here you obviously get your back, you can pay for the, do uh, the, the dog handler signs. I, looking at their website, I think they're around about £13 um, to get the extra ones. Um, obviously I've got my body cam on the dock, so it's the same as what the, um, it's the, same as what the Amazon one would be, but obviously I've got mine on here because it's the one I use. Um, on here as well is you have some belt loops. So on here you've got belt loops, therefore you can actually attach it to, uh, to your belt. Therefore it won't start riding up and different things like that. You get one, two, three, four pockets on the front. Um, you, heard the, um, the, you heard the Amazon uh, Velcro after 18 months. Uh, this is the night on one. So as you can tell it is still got a lot of velcro left in it the the velcro on this is not frayed so you still got it's still good to go um, again on here it's got a little bit of wear and tear over the 18 months um, it's got the adjustable but this is more on the back so you adjust it on the back for your waist size but it has also the shoulders as well on the inside here behind the pockets there is two pockets for to put like they said documents and things like that that's where I'll probably put like my gloves or my snood if I want them on me as on my persons but I don't want to be wearing them because maybe it's not cold but maybe it's getting there um, the couple of things it doesn't have which is what I would what I would request lights on to put in maybe their next one etc is they don't have the uh, the hook or like the back strong so you can't hook it up like that with this one, I have to put it on a hanger um, because obviously there's there's nothing there. You probably could hook it onto here if you had a hook, but I'll, but I end up having to put it on uh, on a hanger. 
And the other thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have the window for the USIA license. So if that was something that I was going to ask Knight on for, is that they had a little window here so that you could slide your SIA license in there. Therefore, you wouldn't have to wear a lanyard. I do have to wear a lanyard with this vest um, when dealing with the public, etc. So in terms of prices, what are the prices that you're going to be looking to pay for this? So this Amazon one is around about £42. Um, with that, you get you do get the dog handler badges with it. Um, so that, that is around about £42. Depends on whether you've got Prime to whether you pay post and package, I would imagine. Uh, so that is 40, 42 pounds. This night on one is roughly about 65 pounds. But then, like I say, you probably need to add about 13 pounds for the dog handler badges, etc. So you're looking at more like the 78 to 80 pound mark for this night on vest. Out of the two, which one do I prefer? I think I prefer using the night on one over the Amazon one. I think it's the one that I would choose between the two. Do I think it's double worth double the money? Possibly not double the money. But I think you do get better value for money out of this than you do the Amazon one. But if you if you can't afford the 78 to 80 pounds for this vest, then the, this Amazon one is a, is a good uh, alternative as well. So that's my thoughts on Amazon versus Nighton. Like I say, I, I do like the Nighton one. I've preferred it since I started wearing it over this one. Um, just because of the netting as well, it's not quite as bulky. And when I sit down, it doesn't ride up underneath me. I think with this material, when you sit down, the, uh, the the vest can ride up on you. So I do prefer the night on over this. And like I say, if you can afford the, the 78 to 80 pounds for the night on, I would go for it. But this Amazon one is a good alternative. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below for loads more videos. And yeah, just for watching, and I'll see you again next time. See you later.